Children complaining of chest pain is actually surprisingly common. Sometimes they say their chest is hurting. Sometimes they put their hand on their chest and say they're in pain. Sometimes they say their heart is hurting. The types of pain that are concerning are pain that is recurrent and keeps happening or pain that's very severe. Pain that goes through to the back is important to take seriously, as is pain that occurs on exercise. If your child is suffering with chest pain, please get them checked out by a doctor. There's lots of different causes of chest pain in children. The most important serious one to exclude is pain that's cardiac in nature originating in the heart. There can be problems with the heart from when the child was born that manifest at any age, such as a problem with the coronary arteries. Also, the heart can get affected in conditions such as myocarditis and pericarditis, which involve inflammation of the heart and the structures around the heart. Actually, the most common reason for chest pain though are things that are not dangerous for your child. So it's important to get a checkup to make sure the serious things are excluded and then it may be that the problem is actually just the commonest thing which is growing type pains and your child is going to be fine. Chest pain in children is actually really common. It can be a sign of a more serious condition, uh, a major problem with the heart. The way we'd find that out is by performing some simple investigations. Your child would need to see a paediatric cardiologist like me and be examined with a stethoscope. They would then have an ECG, which is an electrical investigation of the heart. You've probably all seen one of those. It comes on the pink paper with the wiggly trace that we often see. Most importantly, your child would need an echocardiogram. That's an ultrasound examination of the heart. It's not painful, it doesn't take long. It's a bit like the type of ultrasound that as a, as a mother you would have had when you were pregnant. Children usually find all these investigations quite interesting and not stressful at all. An old child would complain that they have pain in their chest. Younger children sometimes say, my heart is hurting. Sometimes they get a little bit confused and they're actually not complaining of pain. They're actually aware that their heart is beating fast and it's actually a palpitation they're having, but they're saying they have chest pain. Little babies obviously can't complain, but they might cry a lot and the nature of their cry is different to their usual crying pattern. Either way, if you're concerned that your child has chest pain, the very safest thing is to ensure they have a checkup by a doctor with expertise in paediatric cardiology. If your child has chest pain that's recurrent or severe, it's important to see an expert. The red flags for the most serious type of chest pain are chest pain that occurs on exertion. So for example, they say they get chest pain when they're doing PE or when they're riding their bike and the pain goes away when they rest. That definitely must be investigated and taken seriously. Chest pain that's associated with collapse is obviously an emergency. Chest pain that goes right through to the back also is very important to be investigated. All types of chest pain are best seen by a doctor and reviewed. The most effective treatment for chest pain depends on the actual cause. So if the problem is due to a cardiac reason, then it depends on what the reason is. Some heart conditions require treatment with medication uh, and we have a lot of medicines that we give to children. And be reassured, if your child can't swallow tablets, all heart medicines come in liquid forms as well. If it's a more serious heart condition, it may actually require a procedure such as a keyhole heart operation or an open heart operation. But to be honest, these are rarely needed.
Many of the causes of chest pain are not actually cardiac in nature, but they're still very painful for the child. Your child may need different types of analgesic painkiller. Your child may require an anti-inflammatory medicine. The actual treatment depends on the cause. So your child's gonna need a few tests, which will be straightforward and easy to do. And then you'll be given a plan by your pediatric cardiologist.